I'm here in beautiful Seagrove, North Carolina at the Pottery Workshop of Ben Owen. I'm here at a special event called the Kiln Opening. So come with me and I'll show you around. In the 1700s, several families from England arrived in the Seagrove area. They brought the craft of pottery and the skills to continue doing so with them. This is a museum attached to the main building of the Owen Gallery. You can see several generations of pottery from the Owen family. Next to the museum in the main gallery, you can see finished pieces created by Ben Owen and one of his assistants for sale. There are several beautiful glazes that Ben Owen, who is a fifth generation potter, is known for, including a bright red, a bright white, several blues, and many others. So I'm here because this is a kiln opening event. Now what is a kiln opening? Well, it's when a whole bunch of new pieces are taken out of the kiln after they've been fired with glaze. Now the kilns you see behind me are a lot bigger than the kilns you'll see at a school. Our kilns at a typical school are maybe that big. Why are these so big? Well, yes, they can, they can fire a lot of pieces of pottery, but they can also fire stuff like this. Kilns at most schools use electricity to fire pottery, but traditionally pottery was fired using a wood burning kiln. And you can see it takes a lot of wood to fire this much pottery. Once the pottery has been finished, dried, fired once, and then glazed, it's ready for the final firing. The kiln has to be fired at a high temperature for several days. Once the pottery has finally cooled down, the kiln is finally opened and you get to see the finished product. It's because of these large firings with large kilns that potters can host kiln openings. So I'm fit inside this kiln. You can hear it's really big. There's about three different shelf layers going back in this and it's completely cooled down now after the pottery's been fired. As you can see, this is what it takes to fire a vase that's big enough to hold me in. For more information, just search Ben Owen and Seagrove, North Carolina, or visit the links in the description of this video.